Hello everyone, and for this Figma quick tip, I want to show you guys how to take the most out of your baseline grid. This is related to the vertical spacing of your elements in your page. So here I have the two most common ones, the 4 pixel and 8 pixel grid. To create these, you can simply select your artboard, come to layout grid, select the count to auto, and make the height and gutter the same size, either 8 or 4 pixel. Actually, you can put whatever you want, but the 4 and 8 pixel grids are the most common ones, so let's stick to them. Let's use the 8 pixel grid for example. So this means that your base unit will be 8. Every element that you use should be divisible by 8. I have some examples here. And let's start with the main element of every layout. So let's create a label here. And I can put anything here in the size as long as I remember to put the line height a number that is divisible by 8. So I have here 24. And as you can see, the text box fits perfectly. And that will happen also if I put the line height for 32, the next increment. And as you can see here, now it takes four rows. So the trick here is to apply this thinking to all, all of our elements. So let's say I want to turn this into a button. I can hit Shift A to start an auto layout. I should also put paddings and margins, numbers divisible by eight. That will keep my layout more tied together and give them a better flow. Let's put a few here. When I create this auto layout, I put the paddings. The vertical padding is 8. Since my text label has a line height divisible by 8, it will still fit uh, perfectly inside my grid. So let me create a simple layout example here. Okay, so here I have it, my elements inside this auto layout. The top margin has 6, 4 pixels, which is divisible by 8, as you can see in my reference here. And every single element is also divisible by 8 since my line height for this title, for example, is 40. Line height for this body tag is 24. Although the size isn't divisible by 8, what matters here is the line height because that's related to the box size. The spacing is uh, 16 and for the button it's 40. And if I turn on my grid, you see that everything's perfectly lined up to the rows that I have here. That's it for this Figma quick tip. I really hope this tutorial helps you to make more tight together layouts and improve your rhythms. And if you like this kind of content, don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more videos like this. Hit the thumbs up button and share it with your designer friends. That's it and bye bye.